We will take the next question. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Zishan. I am from Pakistan. How can I control my anger? I am worried about this habit. There are various ways in which we can control our anger and our Prophet peace be upon him has mentioned it in the ahadith ways how to control or curb down our anger. The first and the most important is saying Awud Billahi Minash Shaitan Rajeem I seek refuge in Allah from Satan the accursed. This is the first step that we need to do. So whenever we are angry we should immediately say Awud Billahi Minash Shaitan Rajeem I seek refuge in Allah from Satan the accursed. The second is that we should remain silent. Many a times when we get angry, we say things that we normally would not say. For example, we may use abusive language, we may use foul language, we may raise our voice in front of our elders, in front of our parents, etc. Abdul Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, said that if you are angry, you should remain silent. The third is that you should change your position. And Abdul Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, said that if you are angry, and you are standing, you should sit down. If you are sitting, you should lie down. So, if you are standing and you are angry, you should sit down. If yet you cannot control your anger, then you should lie down. And we have the example of Abu Dhar radiallahu an, wherein he was feeding his animals at a trough that he owned. And certain people, they came to this trough and they also started feeding their animals which resulted in the trough of Abu Dhar anhu to break. Abu Dhar anhu, he was angry, but he immediately acted upon the teachings of Abdullah Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. And he sat down. So the people around him, they asked that, why did you sit down? So Abu Dhar anhu, he said that I was following the teachings of our beloved Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him wherein our beloved Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him said that if you get angry and you're standing sit down the fourth is and this is a personal advice is that you should leave that place so for example if you are having some argument with your brother in a room so you should leave that room because you may say things you may do things which you will regret later on in the state of anger in the fit of rage a person he says things which he normally would not use he may use abusive language he may use foul language he may fight with the other person to the extent he may even kill someone in the fit of rage in the state of anger and later on he will regret it but many a times the damage it is irreversible for example if he kills someone even if he regrets it later on the person has already lost his life so it is very important we control ourselves in the fit of rage. Control your anger or your anger, it will control you. And being patient when you are angry saves a thousand moments of regret later on. If you are patient in this state of anger, it will prevent you from doing things that are wrong. It will prevent you from doing things that are haram. For example, if you are angry with someone and in the fit of rage you kill this person. We seek refuge in Allah from this. And later on, even if you regret this act, this act, it is irreversible. This person, he has already lost his life. And our blood Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, said, the strong believer is not the one who wrestles down his opponent. The strong believer is the one who controls himself when he's angry. We have the example of Ali radiallahu anh, wherein he was fighting for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala against a non-Muslim. And Ali radiallahu anh, he's about to kill this non-Muslim, wherein when this non-Muslim, he's about to be killed, he spits on the face of Ali radiallahu anh. Ali radiallahu anh, he immediately stops fighting. This non-Muslim, he's shocked. Why did Ali radiallahu anh stop fighting and didn't kill me when he could have done it so easily? So Ali radiallahu anh, he responds to this unbeliever, to this non-Muslim and he says that 
before you spat on my face i was fighting for the sake of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala but after you spat on my face i would be fighting for a personal grudge and i did not want people to say that i was fighting for a personal grudge imagine look at the iman of ali radiyallahu anhu that he stops fighting with this non muslim just because he spat on his face this was the iman of the sahaba and if you look at the lifestyle of our beloved prophet muhammad peace be upon him the first 13 years of prophethood in makka towards the end of these first 13 years wherein sahaba like umar radiyallahu anhu hamza radiyallahu anhu they embraced islam the muslims they started getting powerful they had the strength and many of the sahaba they wanted to fight back against the oppression that was done to them but it was the commandment of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to remain patient even though they wanted to fight back they were angry at these kuffar at these mushrikeen yet they bore it with patience and perseverance so many a times you have the means to get angry but you prevent yourself that is greatness so you should abstain from doing anything that is haram control ourselves in the fit of rage in the fit of anger and abdullah puff muhammad peace be upon him said that the one who controls his anger when he has the means to act upon it allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will fill his heart with contentment on the day of resurrection subhanallah what a hadith imagine having contentment on the day of resurrection when people are in panic and they are scared about the questioning of allah should always be patient be calm when we are angry and we should curb down our anger follow the teachings of our beloved prophet muhammad peace be upon him and we should always remember the true strength of a believer is not in wrestling down or fighting another believer but it is in controlling yourself when you are in the fit of rage when you are in the state of anger